What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do a video that I've been wanting to do for several months and I've had some some of my uh, viewers ask about uh, this concept. What do you do when you're taking power from your your battery bank or your, your charge controller and going to the load? You need a device that will split that power into multiple um, loads. Uh, and, and typically in an AC environment in your house, for example, you have what's called a load center. So that's what I have here. This is a small uh, AC load center, so an alternating current in other words, but we can adapt it to use with, with low voltage direct current. Now I'm going to reemphasize that. You don't want to use this with a bunch of panels or uh, you know a whole house system. This is only for a small system. If you're going to go with um, a lots of power, you're going to need a dedicated DC uh, combiner box or load center for this. But for small systems, this is perfect. So what we need to do, this is how they come. Um, and what we have here is, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Whoops. Okay. What we have here is <clears throat> we have the negative block and we have two positive blocks. And I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of how AC works, but there's a reason why there's two of the positive terminals here. Um, but we don't want two positive terminals um, in our system. We only want one. So there's a small modification we need to do. We're going to take a red wire, and, and you would want to use a bigger wire than this, but just for demonstration purposes, um, we're going to connect those two sides together with this wire. Okay, so as you can see, I connected, um, you know, just use a screwdriver, undo these little bolts that hold down the positive terminals, um, put your, your exposed wire underneath there, tighten them back down, and now these are wired together. <coughs> um, so, in the simplest form, here's the positive side of your DC, here's your negative side. And the next thing we want to do is we want to bring power into this device. Um, so we've got our, our battery system here. Let's just use this as, as il the illustration. So we need our power to come from our battery, or in, in my case, I always use my power directly from my charge controller but you're going to want to take you know a power wire and wire uh, from the positive side of your battery or your charge controller into your your load center and it will come in and attach to one of these it doesn't matter now because they're both connected together but you connect it to one of these these terminals okay so now we've got our our uh, incoming power, and let's just pretend that it's connected there, but uh, the big fat wire there is our incoming power. Let me zoom in a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. Okay, the big fat wire is incoming power from our power source, which is our battery. Now we need <coughs> the negative side wired up, and so we will, we will come in and connect it right here to this negative block. Okay, so now we have completed our DC circuit and we have power. This is live now. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to, how do we take power out of this to go to your load? And for illustrative purposes, our load is going to be our power inverter. So we can use AC power. So we're gonna put that over there, that's, that's the load. So how do we get the power from this box to the load? Well load centers are designed to be used with breakers and so here I have this is a double pole 20 amp just for illustrative purposes so what we want to do then these these blades go on either side this has two slots so we're gonna put this breaker in uh, on the positive side okay now we've got the breaker in and as you can see, I've got a red wire coming out of the bottom of the breaker. That's where the power exits the breaker. And so this red wire, we will just send it out in, 
over to, let, sorry, I can't really do this with one hand. The power, this, this little red wire needs to go over and connect to the load, which is our inverter. Um, so we've got that taken care of. Now we, to complete the, the circuit, we need our negative black wire. So we're going to connect the black wire over here to one of these on this, this bus bar, this negative uh, terminal over on this side. Okay, and there you have it. It's just that simple. Those, those skinnier red and uh, black wires will go to the inverter, and now you've got your power. And this is beautiful because you can always add another breaker over here, or if you have a double pole like I do, you can add another red wire to this, this uh, empty side over here, uh, and you've got up to four black wires. I guess you could use this bottom lug over here, but you got four more or three more um, negative terminals over here that you can also use. So this little one that I've got here with double pole breakers could could uh, power four individual loads. The other reason I like this, and I would hesitate, I, I want to caution everyone not to use this exclusively, but you can flip on and off your load by flipping on and off the breakers. So that's really helpful when you want to turn on or off a load. Now, theoretically, since this is an AC breaker, um, the DC current can jump the, the gap in the breaker. So you don't want to use this as your only source of safety. If you're gonna be working on something and there's a danger of shock, you're gonna to wanna to completely disconnect it. Pull the stupid thing right on out. But, um, if you want to just quickly enable or disable loads, like if you're testing something out or, or whatever, you can flip these on and off. So it's, it's really nice. Okay, and finally, real quickly before I close the video, the other reason that I love these things is they can also be used as combiner boxes. So I've swapped out my uh, illustrations here. This is still the, the battery bank, and this is, or, or your charge controller. It should really be a charge controller. But uh, here, let's pretend this is a solar panel. So what we can do is we can take our power from our solar panels, especially if you have multiple of them, and bring it into this box with these big fat wires, and then exit to our uh, storage source or our charging source. Um, that way you can put multiple strings of panels um, into one, you know, so that you can take four or five or six or however many panels you have and combine it into one wire that can go into your charge controller or your battery bank. So anyway, hopefully you guys have gotten some ideas. Please feel free to, to ask any questions that you might have. I'd love to answer your questions and uh, thanks for watching guys.